everybody. So I have to leave for work in a few minutes, but I just want to quickly explain just the whole process behind the car and just the story behind it and how God has just really worked out this purpose. And anytime I had prayed about, you know, getting a car, I always prayed like, Lord, work this out so you get the glory for this. Don't let it be something that I can say that I don't. I, it just, it needs to be something you have done. You have worked it out. Like, you know, the perfect car for me and your perfect timing. And so anytime I prayed about a car, that was my, pr my prayer all throughout the process. I did mention, or like in my prayer, a time or two, like, Lord, if it was a beetle bug, I wouldn't be mad. <laughs> Which is just so funny that I prayed that, but it worked. <laughs> God is good. No, and I don't want to sound like I'm bragging at all. Like, no, I'm not bragging by no means. Like, it is completely a God thing that I'm able to do this right now. But we first found out about the car about three weeks ago. And the day, actually, that I broke my phone. So is when we found out about this car. I brought my phone. I had to spend a bunch of money to get a new phone. So they're very expensive. <laughs> so um, I told my mom, I was like, you know, we had planned to go look at this car, find out about this car. It's just not the right timing right now. And so I've continued to pray, you know, about the whole car process and all of that. And then Saturday the 24th, uh, me and my mom had a conversation like, I'm going to need a car sooner rather than later. And I'm very grateful that I'm able to borrow my mom's car or borrow my grandparents' car whenever I have to go to work. Because sometimes me and my mom work on the same days. And it was, it's just, you know, getting to that point where, you know, I want to do more than just go to work. I want to be able to go hang out with friends or um, do a road trip down to Florida in May or um, um, go to church. And I want to be able to do all of that stuff. And I just, I can't as much right now sharing vehicles. So anyway, we had that conversation on the 24th and uh, we remembered the beetle bug and was like, okay, we'll find out about this on Monday. I had to work, so my mom was going to call and find out about it. So then she calls and she finds out the details. Um, it is a 2010 Volkswagen Beetle and it has 89,000 miles on it. And for what he was asking and as high as the miles are, he's asking way too much. And so me and my mom was like, okay. No, like this is not, this would not be smart. And I have continued to pray about it and continue to pray about it because I just felt like this was my car. And it was just a feeling that would not go away. So I, obviously I continued to pray about it. And then Tuesday night as I was praying, I was fixing to go to bed and um, the Lord put negotiate on my heart. So the next morning I woke up before my mom went to work and I told her, I said, the Lord told me to negotiate. So, my mom worked Tuesday and Wednesday, and then was off Thursday, and I was off Thursday. So, she said, okay, Thursday, we will go look at the car. So, Thursday comes around, we go and look at it, and I just, like, instantly fell in love with it as soon as I seen it. Thursday comes around, you know, we talked to him, and he's like, you know, since it has been sitting here for so long, I will lower my price. And it's just... It had, it probably was sitting there, you know, a couple of weeks longer than when we first found out about it. So, and maybe, who knows, maybe it was just three weeks that it had been sitting there. But nonetheless, just because of that, he lowered his price. Obviously, it was a God thing. <laughs> it was an absolute God thing of why it didn't work out for me to look at it three weeks ago. Why Monday, it didn't, it didn't work out because he was just, you know, asking too much. But Thursday... It was, you know, in my constant prayer, Lord, I trust you through this process. And it's just, Thursday he lowered his price. And that is just something that, um, I, that's just like a complete God thing. And, um, sorry, I was looking at the dates on my mom's iPad. But, yeah, God is just so good through this whole process. And we signed the papers, and I will get it in about a week and a half because, um, he's waiting on, like the title change and that's and that stuff and we're going to put a license plate on it and all of the you know new car things <laughs> i'm so grateful to god and i don't want to seem like for a second that i'm bragging because i'm not if it was not for him i wouldn't be able to do this um but yeah that is the god story behind it and um i will show you guys the car more later whenever i officially get to take it home and stuff but i'm so excited 
I'm trying so hard not to cry. Y'all, <laughs> I just want to say that I'm currently sitting in my car. And if you're wondering, it is a baby blue beetle bug. And I will show you guys it later. But I did not expect this to happen today. I'm so happy. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to enjoy this a little bit. Enjoy my break. so I just got ready well ready I uh, changed clothes and done my makeup I'm waiting for my hair to air dry um because we all know I'm gonna just go and figure I want a hat like could I have my hair all cute yes but I'd rather just wear a hat <laughs> um but anyway I'm just like sitting here at my window and I can see my car and I love it. <laughs> made it to work sorry the filming angle is a little bit weird probably gonna end up getting a different tripod for my phone <laughs> but um yeah i made it to work i'm fixing to go in but driving like my car to work is just so nice i'm just i'm so happy right now but anyway that's all i wanted to say i'm at work okay bye So again, sorry for the weird angle. I need to figure out this phone tripod situation. <laughs> um, but I just got off work. Um, I'm fixing to head home. It's really hot in here because I ain't got my air conditioner on. Cause um, that way it doesn't like mess with the audio. But I just kind of wanted this. This angle is really annoying me. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But I just really wanted to quickly explain like how the whole car thing happened because I didn't get to explain it. One second. Okay, so yesterday, Tuesday, whenever my mom showed up, okay, so I got on my break and I was calling my mom because I always call her when I'm on break to talk to her if she's not at work. So I called her and her phone connected to her car because I was in her car. And I was confused. I was like, and so I text and okay, she didn't pick up because I was trying to FaceTime her. And I'm like, dude, what is she doing in town and why is she at work? Because it wouldn't have been connecting at work unless she was close. So uh, I tried just regular calling her and didn't go through and she wasn't answering. So then she just calls me back and I'm like, dude, what's going on? I why are you at work and she said well Madison turned around <laughs> so she showed up with my car because we had been waiting for the title to be sent to our house that way we could do the transfer so she went and took care of all of that for me while I was gone and um or while I was at work and she just surprised me at work and I had no idea and it was the most amazing surprise but um so yeah I'm just, I'm very thankful. 
I'm very thankful for God and, you know, blessing me with this little car. It's nothing, you know, new. It's nothing special, but it's perfect, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And, um, you know, I'm thankful for all of the people who prayed, but I'm headed home from work. And I just wanted to say, like, I have missed just driving a Beetle so much. Because um, my very first car was a Beetle Bug. And I love that thing so much. It made me so happy. And then when I got sick and I wasn't able to drive, we sold it that way it wasn't sitting. And I just, I miss how they drop. They drop so good. But anyway. And they're so small, you can just work them in anywhere. I love it. But anyway, I'm going to get off here and... Um, call my grandparents because I'm going to see if my nana will make me some mac and cheese. <laughs> That's all I want right now is mac and cheese. My nana's mac and cheese. But yeah. <laughs> So we're currently vlogging on the Madre's phone, but how do you like driving my car? Love it. It's too cute. Also, to explain what was going on, I we seen this at the grocery store, and I really wanted coffee, and I was having a migraine because you know haven't had coffee today. So, cheers. She turned it up. <laughs> turned it up. It was really. It, I mean, it's not the best thing I've ever had. I mean, I feel like I'm you know cheating on the coffee shop that I work at. But, it's not the worst coffee I've ever had. Sorry about the turn signal sound. Anything you want to say, Mom? Okay, it's fixing it real loud. We got all the windows open and the sunroof open. Peace out. So we just got back from the grocery. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. A little grocery haul segment. Get excited. <laughs> so first things first, I did get some uh, new gel polish because I've been doing my nails. So I got a pinky and a blue color, a pinky color. And then I got some of these two good yogurts. I've heard good things, good things. My favorite snack, bananas, kale, moon drops, best grapes on the planet. Go try them. Uh, salmon, pepperonis, some cheese, tortillas, and then I got some pure lemon, ju uh, lemon juice stuff for lemon water. I got some of this cold brew to try, and I was very intrigued by white chocolate raspberry coffee creamer. Rebecca is going to be, my boss is going to be so disappointed that I'm drinking different coffee that is not from my coffee shop, but it's okay. And then a pineapple. So I'm currently sitting here getting water. We have a natural spring on our property that has clean, fresh water on it. But the trees are so beautiful outside right now. I love winter, but fall is just, the trees are just so beautiful. I love it. Anyway. Alrighty, so we made it back in from getting the water. Um, I am going to change clothes so that way I can wash these clothes because I'm wearing this to work tomorrow and then uh, I need to do laundry and then uh, we're going to cook. We're going to make homemade Mexican food. I'll take you guys along for that. Um, what else? Also, I need to make my bed. My room's kind of a mess, but first things first, let's open up these windows because... It's very dark in here and I don't like it. Fun fact, I have magnets 
pulled my shower curtain or my shower curtain my curtains on my air conditioner because they fall out or fall off but a lot in here check let's go change clothes and then do some laundry i just about fell <laughs> Thank uh you. -huh.